from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey, I'm Sarah Vinny. Expect a warmer afternoon after a cool start to the day. Greg Diaz, your full weather forecast coming up. But first, we do want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. The city of Tampa is cracking down on businesses found violating the county's COVID-19 orders requiring face masks. Video showed crowds on 7th Avenue in Ybor City on New Year's Eve. Code enforcement cited six bars that night in Ybor and Soho. The city plans to suspend or revoke alcohol permits for businesses found to have two or more citations. Previously, businesses found to be breaking the rules only faced fines. If you are trying to get vaccinated for COVID-19, you may be out of luck for now. Most Bay Area counties have no vaccine appointments available at this time, but Citrus County is doing a first come first serve vaccinations to starting tomorrow morning. All other local counties that were taking reservations are completely booked. Of course, we will let you know when more open up on our free mobile app and also on our website. That's abcactionnews.com. In the Georgia runoff elections, Democrat John Ossoff claims victory in his race against Republican David Perdue. However, the race is still too close to call. They're just 0.38% apart, close enough for a recount. If Ossoff can hang on, Democrats will take control of the U.S. Senate. Democrat Raphael Warnock won his Senate race against Republican Kelly Loeffler. One of the 43 Bed and Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond stores plans to close next year and is located in the Bay Area. We're told the store on US 19 in Port Ritchie will close by the end of February. Bed Bath and Beyond plans to close a total of 200 stores over the next two years. If you were dreaming of becoming an instant multimillionaire, don't worry, don't fret, your dream is still alive. No one won Mega Millions last night. The lottery's jackpot for Friday night is now a whopping $490 million. That is the eighth largest jackpot in the lottery's history. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is $410 million. Let's get over to Greg D with a forecast that's hopefully worth that much as well. Oh, it's worth a whole lot. Absolutely, Sarah. But this one you can access everywhere across the Bay Area today because we've got temperatures in the upper 60s, plenty of sunshine, low humidity and light winds. And this is going to make today feel really nice after a chilly start. Look at these five, six, seven miles per hour. So as long as you're in the sun, it's going to be a great afternoon. We do have a cold front that'll visit us before we head into the weekend that will change things up a bit. I've got your seven day forecast posted on the weather page of abcactionnews.com. Sarah. Thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire, Android and Apple TV. Have a great day.